Good day, Grade 5! Welcome back to our science class. We are now on our week 5 to 6 with our lip or learner's pocket, quarter 4, Phases of the Moon. You have learned in the previous lesson that weather disturbances refer to any disruption of the atmosphere's stable condition which can manifest through the formation of low pressure area or different prevailing winds like monsoon and the intertropical convergence zone or the ITCZ. You have also learned the classification of cyclones according to the strength of wind. Changes of weather before, during, and after a typhoon, as well as how to determine the strength of the typhoon through public storm warning signal. Do you know that? There is another factor affects the weather. The moon affects the weather in a way that when it is high in the sky, it creates bulges in the planet's atmosphere that makes changes in the amount of rainfall. Now, you will learn more about the moon, its phases that represent the pattern in the changes in its appearance. The moon is the only natural satellite of the Earth. A satellite is an object that revolves around a larger object. The moon does not produce its own light. It only reflects the light coming from the sun. Since the moon is revolving around the earth, the amount of light it reflects from the sun varies as it changes its position. The moon's appearance changes from time to time. It is because the lighted portion of the moon changes as it moves around the earth. This obvious change in the appearance of the moon is known as the phases of the moon. Phases of the Moon The Moon has eight phases, four primary phases and four intermediate phases. The Moon goes these eight phases in 29 and a half days. The period it takes for the Moon to complete the phases is called month. First, we have new moon. This occurs when the new moon is between the sun and the earth. In this position, it is the dark side of the moon that is facing the earth. During this phase, the moon is not visible from the earth. Look at the illustration. Next is waxing crescent. After a new moon, when the moon seems to be growing, it is undergoing a waxing phase. As the moon starts to appear in a semicircular form, waxing crescent starts to appear.
first quarter. This phase of the moon happens when half of the moon's face is lighted up. Whether it is left or right depends on where you are located on Earth. The first quarter moon rises around the midday and is visible in the day sky. Look at the picture. Next we have Waxing Gibbous. When the moon is between quarter moon and the full moon, the moon is called gibbous. During this phase, the most portion of the moon is visible in the sky. Waxing means the moon is getting bigger. Next we have Full Moon. Look at the moon in the picture. That's the full moon. When you see a moon like that, that is that is full moon. A week after the first quarter moon, you can see the whole lighted side of the moon. This phase is called full moon. A full moon appears as the entire circle in the night sky. Next, we have waning gibbous. After full moon, the waning phase of the moon starts. It is when the moon appears to be getting smaller each night. Next phase is the last quarter. On the third week of the month, the half of the moon's lighted side will again be visible. This is called last quarter moon. Look at the illustration. You can only see half face of the moon. Next we have waning crescent. Crescent means less than half of the moon is lighted. Waning crescent is a phase where the moon is nearing to the completion of the cycle. Look at the actual moon at night or just look at the picture here. So we have beliefs and practices associated with the moon. Look at the picture. What can you see in the picture? We have a dog or a wolf and a moon. So we have faces of the moon are often associated with superstitious beliefs. During the ancient times, People believe that the moon has a big influence in their lives. They use the moon as guide. The moon tells when to plant and when to harvest. The moon also gives them sign about the weather. These beliefs and practices were passed from generation, generation to generation. In modern times, some of these beliefs and practices are still part of the lives of the people. However, because of man's continuous search for evidence, what used to be a mere belief yesterday can have a scientific explanation today.
moon and planting. Many farmers believe that planting when the moon is in a specific phase may bring good harvest. It is because the growth rate of plants can be affected by them. The different phases of the moon influence the groundwater beneath the earth and affect the movement of fluids within the plants. Moon and Weather When the Sun, Moon, and Earth line up and the Moon is its perigee, closest to the Earth, you can expect lower temperature. This is due to the combined gravitational pull of the Moon and the Sun. During full Moon, it causes a bulge in the ocean. Now, look closer to the faces of the moon. We have here the first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, new moon, and waxing crescent. We have here our learning task, learning task number 5. On the space provided, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. So read number 1 to 5, then write your answer in your notebook. We have here our learning task, learning task number 5. On the space provided, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. So read number 1 to 5, then write your answer in your notebook.